Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you about the normal curvature of the spine. Um, so the regions of the spine, if we start all the way superior, as uh, the cervical region, so that's your neck. Then the purple in the picture here is the thoracic region. Um, so the cervical, so your neck, has to allow for the greatest amount of mobility, so the greatest amount of movement, uh, which comes at the cost of stability. So the more mobility that we have in any given region, the less stability that we're going to have. So cervical is the most mobile and least stable. Then we get to the thoracic, uh, which is kind of this midsection of your back. That's the level where all of your ribs attach. So it's anchoring your whole rib cage. Um, because of that, it is the most stable and the least mobile. Um, so it has to be the most stationary because it has to attach all of your ribs and keep the whole rib cage intact and stable so that it can protect all of your visceral organs inside. Uh, so it is the most stable and the least mobile. Then we get to the lumbar region all the way down here, the yellow in the picture here. Um, and it's kind of medium in both. It has more movement and more stability. Um, so more movement than the thoracic and more stability than the cervical spine. Uh, then all the way at the base, we get to the sacrum and the coccyx, which are bones that are fused together down here to form the tailbone. Um, so those are fused bones. There's very limited mobility here, but there is some mobility in the sacroiliac joint where the sacrum articulates with the ilium or the pelvis. All right, so the curvatures. Um, so the normal healthy spine has a curvature in the anterior posterior direction. There shouldn't be any lateral curvature. Any lateral curvature of the spine would be scoliosis, and that's considered abnormal. Um, but anterior posterior curvature is absolutely normal and necessary for a healthy spine. Um, so the direction of the curvature is what tells us whether it's a lordotic curve or a kyphotic curve. So a kyphotic curve, if we look in our picture here, this side is the posterior side of the spine. You could tell by the spinous processes on the vertebrae. And then this side is the anterior side of the spine. So the kyphotic curves are here in the thoracic spine and down here at the sacrum and coccyx. So it's showing a curvature um, kind of in the forward direction. And then the lordotic curves are in the cervical spine and the lumbar spine, and those curves are in the opposite direction. So the curvature is kind of in the backward posterior direction. Okay, so we have a kyphotic curve down at the base, then a lordotic curve, kyphotic curve, and then a lordotic curve. Uh, when any of these curvatures become exaggerated, then we would call it lordosis or kyphosis, um, just meaning that it's an exaggerated lord lordotic curve or an exaggerated kyphotic curve. Um, and it tends to be, this is not always the case, but it tends to be that as one of these curvatures becomes exaggerated, the others become exaggerated to compensate. So that's not always the case, but that is a common occurrence in postural abnormalities. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.